Wait till you see this. <laughs> Our first guest is an actress uh, and international personality who has just written her autobiography, which uh, she has entitled One Lifetime Is Not Enough. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the program the always agile Zsa Zsa Gabor. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. This is crazier than the jail. Really? <laughs> crazier than the jail? <laughs> you want to talk about that a little bit? Let's just talk about that and get it out of the way. How long were you gone when you were in jail? Three days. I wasn't gone. I was there three days and three nights. Mm -hmm. And that judge wrote in red, and he don't let her out a minute sooner. Oh, really? And the funny part is my lawyer, who cost me a fortune, came and picked me up with my husband, and he sat in his Mercedes with an expired tag on the car right. and took a wrong left turn with all the police. And then, of course, he said it was my fault, and this was really not my fault. Yeah. Yeah. Was, was this, I would guess, that this is probably one of the most uh, unpleasant uh, periods of your life, this whole thing, because every day there was Zsa Zsa did this, and then... There was the prison, and then there was the, the slapping of the policeman. I tell you why it was unpleasant, because it was so damn unfair, and everybody lied. I told the truth. I even told the judge. I did tell the truth. I don't know. I told the gospel truth, but you guys don't have to believe it. Just like you don't have to believe there was a white turkey in the White House yesterday, we met him alive. Don't have to believe it. But I do. I told the gospel truth. I think that was horrible to show a live turkey you eat up tomorrow. Oh, there was a live turkey in the White House yesterday. A beautiful white turkey, and they were supposed to eat it t t tomorrow. I think that's really horrible. Yeah. Now, you're not talking about quail, are you? <laughs> I don't, I don't mean to be insolent here. Let me give you a piece You're of advice. You're always insolent, my baby, and right. I love it. Thank you very much. But I can do it myself. All right. Uh, let me just give you a piece of advice here. To stay out of trouble always in the future, wherever you go, wear that. <laughs> That'll keep you out of trouble. Yes? Yes. I wore a better dress, and the policeman beat the hell out of me. Oh. <laughs> Now, have you, have you made amends with the, uh, the police in Beverly Hills yeah, since then? Yeah, it cost me a fortune, cost the policeman, cost me the prize for a new Royce Royce car, and the lawyers cost me... I rather gave it to, to, to him, actually, because the, the lawyers cost me 250000 bucks. Yeah. So I said to myself, the damn policeman is a, is a horror, but he's so handsome, I'd rather give it to him than for the lawyers. Mm -hmm. So I gave him a big check, and now he's out of my hair, I hope for a little while at least. Yeah. But, but for you, <laughs> roughly speaking, $250,000 is pretty much just, just, a, just an earring, isn't it? You're full of something. Like $350,000. Well, 350, it was not just, a, it was about two years' hard work yeah. after taxes. And it was, and let's face it, guys, all those lies in the court. Why does the Beverly Hills judge is allowed to lie about such a nice, sweet, lovely girl like I am? I don't know. But it, it's, it's, it's all part of the judicial process. But if the judicial pro process is that phony and so fake, then I don't want to... Every word out of them was a lie. Yeah. And my people who testified told the truth. Right. Let's not talk about this experience because I love my country. Mm -hmm. And I want to live here. But when I think about the two weeks of my life, I didn't love so much the Beverly Hills ju judicial system. Yeah. Well, yeah, all right. Let me, I, I just want to ask you... I just want to ask you two more questions, and then we'll go on. We'll talk about the book. Let's we'll talk, talk about, about the book. Let's forget the oh, no, damn Two, two, Hills two more questions. Can, <laughs> what, what, what was the experience like in jail? Were you in the Beverly Hills jail? No, no, not Beverly Hills jail. I went to a place called El Segundo, mm -hmm. where they charge it $85 a night. For that, you don't get food. My husband brought me in four bottles of Evian water because I couldn't push the damn button where the water comes up, on top of the toilet. Who wants to drink water which is on top of... Yeah. Anyway, I couldn't push it in because my nails were too long. <laughs> <laughs> and I had nothing to drink! Oh, what a nightmare. Not only are you in prison, <laughs> but you're, you're forced to drink French bottled water. Oh, <laughs> took it I away know, from I, me. I but that is not everything.